Um, so vinegar rune is made out of what, what the stuff I make is uh, it's getting all over the place. It's just rusty Brillo pads that I soaked in some salt water and uh, add a little bit of hydrogen peroxide to make it really rusty and gross. <laughs> it gets everywhere, but this is what the stuff looks like. Uh, you take the rusty Brillo pads and you put them in a jar, because I have tons of jars, um, and you put just white vinegar in it and you let it soak and it's gross and it smells bad, but it makes really great black leather dye. So I have a piece of leather here and I'm just gonna show you how quick it works. It looks, it's clear, but once you put it on, the effect is immediate. It turns black. And you can put more on so it doesn't get all blotchy and stuff. And what it does is it changes the leather tannins. So it's not like other leather dye where it will rub off on you and your clothes and it'll be nasty. It'll stay like this, it'll smell really bad, but you can actually make that smell, it'll stop smelling really bad and it'll stop making everything black that's metal that touches it by adding a solution of baking, so uh, baking soda and water to it. Um, it also does this as well. This is a piece of oak that I have from another project and you can use it to dye oak black as well for the same reasons. Just add a little and then you just watch it turn black as it slowly turns black. And uh, so it works as both a black leather dye and a black uh, wood dye, um, except it it kind of gets everywhere, kind of bleeds a little bit, so you probably want to either mask, mask the area off or dye the whole piece black. It'll take a while to get to actual uh, full darkness, but that's what it is, and it's cheap, and it's easy, and you can make it, a lot of it, for very cheap with the crap you have around your house that you probably want to throw away because it's really nasty. But, um, there you go.